Hey there, everyone. Glad you can join me. I'm Errol Barnett. All of those stories coming up, but first we begin with some sad news. Oscar-nominated stage and screen star Debbie Reynolds has died. Reynolds was rushed to the hospital after reportedly suffering from a stroke just a day after the death of her daughter, actress Carrie Fisher. Chris Martinez looks back at Reynolds' life and career. And singing, just singing in the rain. Debbie Reynolds was just 19 years old when she landed a leading role in the iconic 1952 film Singing in the Rain, opposite Gene Kelly. The singing and dancing beauty became America's sweetheart, shooting into stardom on the silver screen. Reynolds appeared in many movie musicals during the 1950s. She'd earn an Academy Award nomination for her title role in The Unsinkable Molly Brown. She was born Mary Frances Reynolds in El Paso, Texas on April 1, 1932. Her family moved to Burbank, California, where a Miss Burbank beauty contest crown led to a movie studio contract and a new stage name, Debbie Reynolds. Your eyes are the eyes of At 23 years old, Reynolds found Hollywood romance with singer Eddie Fisher. A radiant bride and a handsome groom, Debbie and Eddie are finally Mr. and Mrs. The couple had two children together, including actress Carrie Fisher, but their star-studded marriage ended in scandal when Fisher left Reynolds for her best friend, actress Elizabeth Taylor. Reynolds later revealed she and Taylor eventually made up. She was just as dumb as I was, so <laughs> fall in line. Reynolds continued to search for love, marrying and divorcing twice more. Well, my, my personal life is always sort of like this, so that little choo-choo train says, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. Uh, I seem to marry very poorly. I have no taste in men. She later became a fixture in Las Vegas, opening her own hotel and casino where she often performed live. Reynolds was also a notable collector of film memorabilia, amassing thousands of props and costumes, including many iconic Hollywood dresses. The collection grew bigger than she ever intended. It was always too much, but then uh, life should be that. Debbie Reynolds was 84 years old. And we'll have much more on Debbie Reynolds later this hour.